Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, we are back with our WWE 2K My GM mode. As we are rolling on from our PLE backlash uh, that we had here uh, last Saturday on our, uh, it was recorded live on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Uh, we did end up uh, winning the week. Or sorry, we're still in control of the week. We didn't win the week. Raw won. Uh, Paul Heyman's card threw everybody for a loop because nobody had a chance to work with champions. The reason I didn't get the perfect score is I moved a match around that I shouldn't have there. But either way, uh, we are still in the lead. We're still very close to getting uh, the number of fans that we want and a lot of the bonuses that we're looking for here. But uh, yeah, we're, we got to clean up some stuff that happened uh, because of the pay-per-view. So let's see what we could do here. So you know what? Might as well get into it. Let's see what we could do here. All right, so let's just check what we got to do here. We got a couple contracts expiring, one next week. Slugger and Headley are a hell of a team. You're at the end of week nine. Our tag chaps work well together. I like this. Uh, Ivy and, and... Ivy and Ava have to team up. All right. Have at least one extreme rules match this week. We'll see if we can do that. But first, I see this little star up here, so we actually get to add something to Becky Lynch here, so. So we actually got her to a level four, so let's see what we can do here. Last man standing. Or special guest referee match. I think we're gonna do last man standing for her because frankly, those are a lot more fun to watch. So we'll get an extra match quality bonus for that. So, and we're probably going to put her in the main event. We'll probably put her in a last man standing match with uh, Cora J just to keep things going here. Well, yeah, let's uh, see what we can do about booking a show here. The logistics, we only got two assets, so we can't really upgrade anything, at least for another two weeks. Nope, that's the one we want. All right, our main event. We're gonna make it a last man standing match. We're gonna put Becky and Cora, put the tile on the line. I think that's a very confident way of doing this here, but let's just double check. Morale to the winner, lose morale to the loser. I do want to end this rivalry, though. That's a thing. Because if we let this rivalry go off for too long, we're actually going to put it in cooldown. And that's not going to work for us here. I love how the loser is out of the brand. You know what? We'll use this here. And if we can still keep the rivalry for one more week, we'll blow it off in a cage match next week. Because the stamina is still there for both of them, so. We gave her the extra perk. Let's use it to, to our advantage here, so. What else do we have here? We got JC, we got Scarlet. You know what? We're gonna... What I'll do, actually, I'll set up a tag team match. Just a normal one. JC and Scarlet, the tag champs, versus... Ivy Nile and... Ava Moreno. That's the match that we were 
asked to do, so we will. Do we want to do a not do a title match? No. And then next week we'll keep uh, JC and Scarlet off, just because. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit much for him here. So. And then as well, what else can we do here? So Stax is off this week due to a little bit of a rest issue. I, I love how MVP is a heel and they tell us that Corbin could be there just as well. Who's got the stamina? We got Rollins there. You know what? We'll set that up for an Intercontinental title match. I think we I think that would be good. No, I think we'll just have a straight one-on-one -on -one title match there. And then from here. Let's see if we can mix things up here, have a women's match. Uh, papa. I think what we might do is do Trixie. We only got three females left. Oh, wow. We might have to go hunting for some more wrestlers here, so. Oh, we lost Jerry after the last one. That's right. We'll probably do. Let's see. Let's see if there's anybody else we can bring in here. Sassy Molassa, May T. Kirk. Oh, I guess we can just look at our roster as we go here. Uh, our faces, we got Dragon Alva Specialist. Do I have any cruiser? Oh, I guess I got Haze here. We could bring in Triton to take on... Ha oh, no, he's a face, so... What do I have for a heel cruiser? Dominic. That could get him up to another level, though, so. He's got lots of stamina. You know what? Instead of that, let's... Let's book an Extreme Rules match. Get our... Uh, specialty out of there. We'll get Dom in here. And he could take on Carmelo, actually. Do I want to run in? That actually might set off the level four here. I think that might be the way to go on this. Title match don't cost us thing. Our main event's there. All right, let's see a good book here. I haven't done one of these before, so let's see if we can do a tag team call out. So that, that would be a cool one to do. We'll do a little self-promo.
We'll give Trixie the advertising promo because she's a three. We'll give this a self promo just to. Or maybe we could do this. See if he can call out Dom. I think that might actually be a good way to go here. Oh. Let's not confirm quite yet because we still got to look at the power cards. Pre physio, that actually would be a good card to pick up. What do we have for injury rehabs here? Got two pre match physios. Injury rehab one. Let's get the two just to be safe here. And. Who did I want to give this to? There's a. If you get the extra XP after the next match. Yeah, I think it was Ivy, because then she'll upgrade right away. Dom's only going to go to level 6, so that ain't going to matter much. Yeah, let's give it to Ivy so we can... Uh... She's already at level 11. Alright, well, let's fix up Ivy here. Um, don't worry about the let's keep her stamina up here so she moved her up to a level 11 okay let's go so she's right on the level of Dominic there or Ilya sorry alright I don't know if there's anything else we could really do here now I don't want to screw it. Yeah. Can I use this to push somebody? Like, Billy, I'm probably going to lose going forward here, but... Do I want to give it to... No, I'm gonna hang on to that for right now. Just to want to see where the lineup comes up after we're done the uh, women's title match here. So, okay, we'll put her tag call out, tag champs right there, advertising. Got the call out there. Dominus got more more stamina, so. Oh, Dom's already in the match, so yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to be able to watch three of the four of these, so... Let's see what we can do with them here. Alright, all the world hates a coward. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so our opening match up here for the Intercontinental Championship. MVP taking on the champion, Seth Freaking Rollins. Of course, Seth didn't get an opportunity to work the last show due to uh, Paul Heyman being a complete douchebag. It's going to be interesting right now with the fact that MVP has... Uh, apparently, they're going to let his contract run out and let him be a free agent. And the other funny thing that's come up this week, apparently uh, all the uh, extra excuses have been removed. And now uh, officially it, it's gone through the court system that uh, you're no longer allowed to use not compete clauses in your contracts. 
And any non-compete clause that's available right now is... Absolutely null and, vo null and void. So... Basically, anybody could end up on Raw on Monday and then show up on Dynamite on Wednesday without even flinching. Or if there's a tape SmackDown, you could show up at SmackDown for that tape, but show up on Rampage that, that same night if Rampage was live. That would be a trip. So glad I got the pyro for Seth. I love this is how we got out of the, uh, got out of the excuse of having, uh, having the music out of the intros here, so. I still can't believe how young MVP actually is. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Nice DDT float over. Sorry, I'm a little quiet there, chat. 
just responding to a few people, uh, aka trolls from earlier. Rollins just working over MVP here in her opening contest here for the IC title. I thought we'd have a very quiet ma quiet night in terms of matches, but overall, we've actually got some humdingers here. Rollins just said, nope, we're going to play this inside now instead. Which I really don't blame him. It's actually, you know, it's probably to Rollins' advantage to have this match on the inside. Never mind. As we get the QTE coming up. Oh my god, those eyes. Oh, those eyes. I'm going to have to definitely use that for the screen grab here. For uh, the, the header for this for Friday. That, those were amazing eyes right there. Now going straight to the cross face. Could we see a tap out? No. Hello, camera. Oh, the playmaker off camera. Oh, it's through the camera to me. Okay. Nice reversal there by Rollins. Looks like just manually I turned into an auto camera here. Or a manual camera. Nice forearm to the back of the head. Is he going to try to go to the top? Nope. Here comes the stomp. That should do it. There you go. Sorry about that chat. I'm not that good at the camera controls. Here is your winner. Absolutely great match between these two. What do we get for a star out of this? I'm thinking we got to get something decent out of this. As he starts flinging the belt around like nothing. Nice. Three and a half stars. I like that. Let's move her on up here. It's a great way to start the show. Title match, champion retains, three and a half stars. No increase. You know, terrible. Tried to give you a chance to relax. All right, so now this tag team match. We have our champions, JC Jade and Scarlet. 
Uh, they have, well, they were challenged by Ivy Nival and Ava Moreno, who wish to get work together for once as we uh, in a match here. So I just thought, throw a normal match together. Let's see how things go. So. Got to keep Ivy happy. We try to keep everybody happy. Hopefully, uh, Becky will be happy with the fact that she got the main event tonight. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Tampa, Florida, one half of the women's tag team champions, JC Jane. So as uh, as we see the MVP of uh, of my SmackDown brand for the last two seasons, uh, once again with gold or silver in this case. Uh, just want to give a quick shout out here to uh, all the relief workers and all the firefighters going on in Alberta right now. There was just news here tonight as we're recording that uh, Jasper National Park in the town of Jasper is very close to the flames and part of the sit town has actually been taken out by flames. So I can't imagine what it'll be like to lose everything again. And just want to wish all the best to all the uh, firefighters and all the families and support systems, all the first responders. It's a crappy situation, but they're making the best of it. I actually wish it was like Scarlet. Uh, Scarlet was uh, still from uh, New Orleans. I think she was from New Orleans originally. But I think I did the math if. Uh, so for people that are wondering how things are running here, we, uh, if we consistently run two shows a week still, we're going to get uh, our, our ending of this coming up at the end of September. So we'll have to see how things go here as we run along here. As we're going to see our newly formed team here. Hey, representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee, Ivy Nile. Let's go, let's go. The crowd is just tepid, I think is the best way to put it. As Ivy makes her way on to the, uh, makes her way into the rig here. Gotta love the unique entrance, right? And we'll have to see how, how this team works, because if it does work, then we're gonna have to find a way to keep them going. I'm gonna have to find a way to keep Ava longer. Because Ava's gone next week, I do believe, if we don't re-sign her. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Marino. And if we could get a good deal with uh, Ava here, we might actually uh, stick around for a little extra longer here for her.
All right, so just a regular tag team match. So I am a little worried that this one might run a little long. But the fact that we don't actually get to watch the next match sort of helps with that. In terms of time-wise for the show. That's got to suck. Jane's having none of this here. Jay gets flopped to the outside. Scarlet gets the same treatment. That was an interesting dive, to say the least. Zivy gets the push ups in. Scarlet's just not getting anything out of the blocks here. But Ivy made that mistake. She got it after her opponent. So JC had the time to recover there. Once again, go back to those stomps. Just a white on the ra rainbow light suplex there. Jeez, okay. So the latest bit of news that I've heard here as Ivy's taking control here. Uh, if you're watching earlier on Dynamite, which if you're watching this on YouTube, we do uh, we do an AEW sidecast prior to our tapings of uh, WWE by, by GM. Uh, Camille made her debut with uh, AEW tonight after uh, Britt's match with Akarashita. Ava's not getting much time of this match here right now. But uh, apparently Camille's been signed since February. But she just did not, they didn't have a spot for her. Oh, we're not going to get a tag? Oh. Ivy reversed it in time. Make the tag. Still doesn't make the tag. Gets an arm over. Referee out of position, so it's only a one count. Hot tag to Ava Moreno. Let's see how spicy it is. It's absolutely ketchup stuck in the refrigerator cold. JC just simply doing all the work here. Nice hot shot. Hooks the leg. It's 
Ava trying to get a little momentum here going as they're moving along here. Nice power slam of the cover. Still only gets a one count. Nice little handspring elbow there. JC trying to get over to the corner, but Ava's in the middle there blocking her way. Nice little power slam. No tag going up to the top. This is a mistake. Wait for her to get up. Jay gets knocked out with a shoulder tackle. Ava took her eye on the ball though. Take off her eye off the ball here. Now Scarlett gets a chance to get in the rig. Referee way out of position. Shouldn't even have been a one count. And it wasn't. Another hot tag. Went for the wheel kick, but Ava got stuck in the middle there. I don't know how fruitful this match is. Oh, Dragon Sleeper. Thought she was going to go for a reverse suplex there. Boot to the face. Putting her up in the quarter. Scarlet putting in that work. Cover. Ava's already coming in. She knows that her partner's in trouble. Doesn't even allow the one count. Big splash. And a good old fashioned back rake. I love a good old fashioned back rake. Now Jane comes in. Elbow to the year. Natural selection. Quick cover. Two and a half. That was almost it. Ivy's almost out of it here. JC getting ready to finish things off. Oh, not quite the direction I think she wanted to go on that. But still got enough to be in control here. Tags in Scarlet. There's a spear. Oh, no way. Well, that's it. Ava already used the one walk-in, so it would have been a DQ. Here are your winners. The team of JC Jane and Scarlett. Our tag team champions retain. A great showing by Ivy and Ava, but you could tell with the inexperience between the two of them really showed off here. Three star, perfect. So I needed it less than my first match, which is absolutely exactly where I want it to be. Level three, no cost increase or anything. 2,500 money, less three pop. Oh, hey, that's fine, Trixie. You're not going to get much for popularity anyway. All right, so our next match here. We're not actually going to be able to watch it because I do have a run-in from Gunther on Carmelo because this is our heavyweight title feud. Um, our goal for this week uh, from Triple H was to book an Extreme Rules match. I figured with Dom having as much stamina as he does and 
Carmelo having the stamina that he does, I thought it'd be appropriate to have these two do it because they're, well, they're two cruisers that can really fly here. I didn't expect this to be an overly great match, but we'll see what happens here. One, two, ring the bell. Dominic in a two-star match. That's to be figured. Then McDougal doesn't do anything to help his cause. Now I mean of it. These two have been going at it for, well, since season one. Uh, week 21, uh, Becky managed to keep the... She kept the title going into season two, but then she ended up uh, losing a non-title match to Cora Jade here. So, But now we are putting her in a last man standing match against Cora Jade for the title. This might settle the rivalry. I hope it doesn't so we can get one more match out of this. But let's see how it goes. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. I appreciate having you all here as we check things out. As we're going to have both people just come out and then they'll do the introductions in the ring. Uh, once again, if you are here and you uh, like what you see, please hit that uh, thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. They're both free for you. And if you're over here on Twitch, if you're not following, please give us a follow. If really enjoy what you see, maybe consider a subscription. Prime subs are free. Uh, we do these twice a week here on uh, after AEW Dynamite or Collision, as long as they're not three hours. We got a couple three-hour shows coming up here over the next couple weeks, so... With those three hour shows, I don't like to extend them into five if I can help it. So yeah, if we could get this match and it doesn't finalize the rivalry, we'll put her in the, uh, we'll set it up for the cage for not next week, but the week after. Just to make sure both ladies have enough stamina to survive the cage. Then who knows? We might be able to actually get a little feud set up for uh, the next P PLE coming up. Now, this is going to be fun. It's the last woman standing match, last man standing match, whichever way you want to call it. And it's all about the count of 10. No pinfalls, no submissions. Weapons are encouraged. And the biggest thing is, if we can get Becky a win off this, get her morale right back up to where it was, we actually set this up to be a specialty of hers, so...
This Cora had a special weapon ready to go right there. Let's get Cora Jade exuding a little control here. Knee of the chest. Looks like Becky's trying to keep Cora to stay down, but... Nice arm drag. Becky's trying to do everything she can just to stay in control of this matchup, which I don't really blame her at this point. This is one thing that you have to be... Oh, here comes the chair. And Cora just meets her with a straight-out senton. And down, and Cora's on the outside. And Becky just greets her. Ref, you gonna count or you just gonna stand there? Nobody's been able to get a weapon off yet. That's the funniest part about this match. Everybody grabs a weapon, but nobody can actually use it. Once again, that's sent out on the outside. Both these ladies really don't like each other. But if this rivalry finishes up and Cora gets the title, I wonder which way we're going to have to go to set up the next feud here. I think that might be a mute point at this point. Nine and a half. All right, well, Cora is pretty much done at this point. Now straight into the disarmor. You, you can tap it all you want, you just ain't gonna be able to get up. What's with the ref animations? That's it. Becky wins. Now, either this... She did do it with the finishers, so... Great job by Becky on getting the victory here. Wonder if this rivalry is complete out of this or not. Four and a half star classic. Thank you, ladies. You come to play. Oh, uh, it's awesome. It's what you're looking for. So they didn't finish the feud either. So what I could do is book this. I'll keep them off next week, but then the week after, I'll put them in the cage to finish that rivalry up. I don't know if I could... I don't know if they could take it to the next pay-per-view. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how things go. Let's see how everybody else did. 
Carmel and Baszler, just a regular one-on-one -on -one match. One, two, that's three. Bring it. Mello wins. <laughs> Three-star match, all right, cool. Jimmy working on some training, get some XP out of that, so a boy. Our double champion Molly Holly taking on Meechin in a one-on-one. -on -one. Molly Holly wins in another three-star match. So booking survives. Extra XP for Bro Strowman. R-Truth and Champa versus Rooted Breaker. So the tag champs in a non-title match. One, two, that's it. It's over. Hit the bell. Champions win in a three-star match. All right, well, you're being consistent. Now they got a pro. Okay, Taker and Jimmy. All right, that's that's a feud. I'm not gonna say it's a great feud, but it's a feud. And our main event: Otis versus Shinsuke Nakamura in a rematch for the World Heavyweight Championship. Nakamura retains in a three to half star match. All right, so they barely survived their booking there. So for WCW, their opening match, Big E versus Elton Prince, an Iron Man match to open your show. Okay, that's a choice. Especially without a title on the line. Two. That's it. Ring the bell. Elton Prince wins. Gets that up to a level two. Well, I would think so. Charity promo by Raquel. They have the tag champs doing two different promos. Oh yeah, that's a choice. Ricky Steamboat versus Finn Balor versus Jay Pierce. Okay. One, two. Ring that bell. Finn wins. I don't want it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ricky has not produced any good matches yet. Gigi putting herself over. I like that. Geriatric. Oh, that's right. We sold him. We traded him off for cash. That's right. Take it on Gargano and Booker T for the U.S. title. Come on, Jerry. Ah, Gargano retains. Hat trick and Gargano in a feud. All right, let's go, Jerry. Tag team call out. I like that. I like it. Alexa and Tiffany. That is a tag team. And our main event... For the United States Championship, Drew McIntyre taking on Randy Orton and Captain Grog. And Mac oh, McIntyre is a heel, so that's two heels and a face. Orton wins and becomes new champ. Rivalry grows, four-star match. I thought it wasn't supposed to be two heels and a face. But I guess, whatever. Angel Garza versus Julius Creed one on one in a tables match. One, two, that's it. Bring it. Garza wins in a three to half. Okay. Must have been a bonus for that. Good trading promo, Tyler. Blair Davenport versus Isla Dawn in another tables match. Oh, he booked one, every card, two, every match at a stipulation tonight. Blair out for three weeks after winning in a one-and-a-half-star match. That's got to suck. Rousey, yeah. Extra bonus because she's Rousey. Iron Man match between Piper Niven and Neon Brightstar. One, two, that's three. Ring the bell. Three and a half stars. All right, great job. Candice LeRae didn't do much for charity. And our main event, a TLC match between Sheamus and The Miz. Damian Priest is running it on Sheamus? Interesting. That means The Miz would win in a three-star match. So nothing much there. So let's see what the report cards look like. Good. That's all I got was good booking. Got their haste days at three. Tag team stays at two. That one stays at four. Okay. I am going to try pushing to see if I can get it to the PLE. 
They got good booking as well, just because they survived a three star to three star. They got some four stars there, ready to go. Prince of Biggie, Hattrick Gargano. Poor Finale, a boy, way to go. They got good, yeah, so Heyman earned that. All right, let's see where we're at from here. 110 show quality plus 43,000 plus 70,000. Ava and Ivy are a great tag team. Damn. Hey, X Star. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I had a lot of fun talking with Adam this week. I was, actually, Adam was in here earlier tonight as uh, we were watching a little AW Dynamite. I'm glad you, I'm glad you enjoyed the episode. It seems like I'm a resident movie guy for him here, but uh, yeah, I definitely love the uh, fighting games as we go along. Going to be getting a little bit more into them as we go, and yeah, just, I love talking about it, and I appreciate you listening to it. Thank you very much. All right, let's see here. We're to yeah it was it's such a fun movie like one thing about me is i really like to put my brain in neutral to watch some of these and that's one of those perfect ones you just put your brain in neutral and just just enjoy for what it is that's one thing i wish that a lot more people would do these days all right let's see continue here 111 so they actually beat us in show quality yeah, fun is a better description than good. It's such a fun movie. Just saying worth watching. Just worth enjoying hanging out. We'll just... So 106. Yeah, just... It's so... It's, it's one thing I've always learned. Do things that you're going to enjoy... As we got two five five two nine three four. Oh my God, ECW had a poor show. And yeah, nothing special there. All right. Yeah, it's uh, a a lot of those video game movies are more fun than good. If you want to look at a good Street Fighter one, look up the animated one. Which I found it really cool that an Evo after Street Fighter 3 was done on the first day because that was the last game of the first of the second day, sorry. They actually played the entire anime on the big screen for everybody. So that, that was pretty that was a pretty cool thing they did. Alright, let's get our final report cards here. What final show reports? Yeah, if you can check out the Street Fighter 2 animated movie. It is definitely worth your time in it. It's not, it, it's very source, source direct. Like it's exactly what, uh, it actually follows the actual store, story that Street Fighter has in their continuity. But it is definitely a very mature rated game or movie. There's a couple seeds in there that are a little risque. I, I, you could show it to the kids, but I really wouldn't want to. Especially if they're trying to learn stuff. But yeah, let, all right, here we go. So we got the injury rehab three. Contract negotiations. Seasonal challenge, blood, sweat, and tears. Ah, excellent. So we are still at first. We're 6,000 ahead. So we gained 1,000 fans than what we did last week. And our budget has grown just a little bit. But we also do have to book. Uh, we do have to get take care of some contracts here. So let's see what we're going to have to deal with next week. And then we'll sign off here. Raleigh, North Carolina, three weeks till SummerSlam.
Uh, 33,500. You know what? Since they're working well as a tag team. Yep. Yeah. All right. Take care, X Star. Hope to see you again soon. We are going to be taping another episode here right after this one. But uh, in terms of the YouTube video that we're doing right now, I'm just leaving it. Leaving it open ended right now, so I think I'm gonna do a sixty for ten. All right, our budget's down quite a bit. Okay, she's good. Hey boss, I was hoping some personal time. Can I get two weeks off? That'll set up to the pay per view. So yeah, sure, I will do that. All right. So nothing special coming up here. We got all our tasks done. We got a couple contracts coming up. Uh, we're going to put Ivy in... Uh, Ivy and Ava could be a tag team as we go along. Least popular available giant in a match this week. So who are we going to feature this week? I think we only have one giant. So the champ's going to be in action this week. So that's cool. We'll just get him a simple match here. Nothing too crazy as we go along here. But uh, yeah, for those on uh, Twitch, hang around here a little bit. We're going to get going here right away. Uh, for those that are uh, here on YouTube, uh, we're going to sign off here. Uh, once again, thank you everybody for hanging out here this week. Uh, we are back here again uh, next week. Uh, or sorry, Tuesdays and Tuesdays and Fridays, these videos go up on our get YouTube channel, Backbreaker underscore Gaming. Please give us a like and a subscribe. Tell us which match you enjoyed the, the most in the comments, or just throw your favorite emoji in there for engagement. Uh, for those on Twitch, once again, we are going to be doing a back to back here tonight. So uh, stick around. We're going to be get going here for a second round here momentarily. But as for hey folks, thank you very much for hanging around and. Be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see y'all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.